What's up, guys? So, we got the update finally released. Apologize for the delays, but at this point, we all know we all know what's going to happen. But uh, uh, so let's get into it. So, uh, the new Christmas event is out. If you had some of the old remaining items, you can still use those. Did that? Did okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I got a new keyboard. I guess I got to get Lisa typing. So you've got uh, Satan's Doors, which are, are often mistaken for Satan's Elves. I, I love that. I mean, I know it's my own thing, so I guess it's arrogant to say I love my own thing, but I still do. So, fuck you. So you have a Hunter and Agility Method, which is actually pretty nice. Let me spawn some stews. Um, shit, what, what... What is the... I don't know what a... I don't know... I, never mind. I don't, I don't know. I'll spawn, like, some of the implings. I'll show you what the implings look like. Uh, so you've got these. I think it's, like, 10k hunter experience, 10k uh, agility experience per. So these are pretty nice. Um, this is the... Blue. We'll just do 14 of these. Remember this pet? The Ragnar. Yeah. People people never, never got that. Oh, it was the Easter pet. It's the Easter pet that, like... Easter came out on April Fool's. So the item is a bunny, but it spawns that. And people, uh, yeah, people never really got that. They thought it was a glitch, or people just kept reporting it to me like it was a mistake. Uh, what the heck? That's that's a reference to something Pawn always used to say. Pawn doesn't curse. So he has variations of curses, and that's that was one of them that we uh, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, so you can see it wasn't, like, amazing or anything like that. The goal um, for this event is, is Christmas Clues. And you get Christmas clues via this, uh... Oh. I... Th I know that happens sometimes. It's really frustrating when it does, especially for this event, because there's no easy way to get around that. But, um, so there's this one right here. Uh, if you're wondering about the Xerxes robes, I'll show you what the Satan drops, or Satan's doors drop. Uh, we got... Uh... Uh, Satan. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so you can get the ropes here. They are actually tier 60 magic armor. Um, so it is better than infinity. And it probably is better than arms, just because arms is probably tanky. There you go, the challenge go hard. I probably should have changed the name of that. So that's my bad. I, I, you know what, that's probably the new one. Uh, when I first designed the clues, there was only one clue, but I decided that I didn't, uh, yeah, you need new, new, new client, go get it. I, I decided that one clue probably wasn't enough. It just was it would be boring if everyone kept in the same clue. So I added one more. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's what he just got. Um, but you can see the loots here. Uh, so the cool thing about killing the dwarves, and you're, you're wondering, okay, well, so what? It's dwarf doesn't have that great of drops. Uh, do I have the P ring on? I do. Boom. You get 500 invention XP per kill. Uh, every single time. And then you can also get a bunch of gears from clues, so uh, trust me, people will be getting that. Let me—I don't want—I don't want anybody to give that. Um, so that's option A right here: kill these dwarf thingies for uh, invention XP and some tank loots. You can do this agility method. You need 69, I think, to do it. Um, loot them, and the goal is to get clues. So clues can give quite a few things. I will do a separate video on those. I'll open up a couple in this one, just to give you a little refresher. Uh, so the the main goal you're kind of going for is called an Ice Diamond. An Ice Diamond lets you kill the boss. So the boss is Camel. And uh, this is kind of what his drops are. So you're looking at these drops and you're like, okay, well, I don't really care about a boss that drops. Like, you know, who, what, who's going to do anything with seven superior dragon ones? Every single person who kills Camel gets loot. So this is a group boss. Uh, all you need to do to get there is get an Ice Diamond. So... Yes. I, you know what? I probably... I never checked to see if you could walk there. Huh. You can probably walk there, can't you? <laughs> I don't know if you can, but if you can, I'm sure someone will tell me. Uh, let me know. Anyway, so... Ice Diamond is what you're going for. Mystery box. Look at that clue right there. That is... That is... That is a clue you probably never thought you'd see. Ancient gear. What is the 75k speed? Ooh. Colt necklace, not bad. Uh, well, one more. Gilded. So you can see, you kind of get, you'll you'll get familiar stuff. The way the, I've I've tested them a fair bit, and what I've noticed is I'll either get really good, like that one clue where I had like Bando's boots and Smoldering Stone, 
or I'll get just gilded or something like that. Like, I'll either get something good or bad. There's a lot of variety that, that might surprise you with these clues. It's just um, you might not see it too often. And a lot of things won't yell. Dark stone, nice. So we actually got two gears. Like I said, you do get a lot of invention XP for this. Well, that, that's a cool one. <laughs> Zenite Shard Whip. As you saw, the whip didn't yell, but the Zenite Shard did. This is a really nice inventory right here. It's a really solid inventory. I'll do a separate video on that soon, probably just tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But um, that is what you're going for. And the Ice Diamond 4, 6, is that an item ID? Yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, so it's infinite teleports to Camille. It will give you access to the boss. This is where it is if you wanted to learn how to walk there. I think you can. I don't know. My, I guess, uh, can you get to Trollheim? I'm sure someone can do it. I'm sure someone can pull it up. But, uh, yeah, so this is a group boss. Everybody gets a kill. You do get some more adventure XP from this. And it has uh, some in some gear drops and whatnot, so that's cool, too. Just some boners. Um, and then if you get any extra ice diamonds, uh, you can use them to auto-complete a Christmas clue. So, there's that. Also, the Magic Pearl technically has, like, a higher weight than Master Clue, so it's kind of, you know, it's not, like, a, a high chance of getting it, but you can get it. So, there's that. If you can't read it, um, that glitch happens a lot. Where sometimes where clues can't read it. There's ways to fix it. I just never remember the way to fix it. I always forget. Um, there's there's two different ones. There's two different ones. I'll, I'll just tell you in this video. I'll show you them in, in case you, you run into that problem. So if you're watching this video and you're like, I got a clue, I can't see it. Normally it fixes itself. Sometimes logging out works. So there's 09 and there's 10. 09 is Child Hat and Xerxes and Robes. And then, uh, oh, the other one is Olaf with Zamrak robes and a Fez hat. So, uh, they're pretty simple clues. They're not difficult. Uh, in terms of everything else, the pet, you saw the wolf pet that was in another video I uh, posted a while back. Um, you can get Saint Hat. There's no big, unique item. It's really just sort of a bunch of small things. But, yeah, I'll have a video on the Christmas casket tomorrow, and that should show off some more of the, the more interesting loots. Because, like I said, there's quite a variety of things that you just probably won't see them so often but uh yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed there's some other stuff in the update i will leave this link in the description for you if you want to go check it out